Hello everyone and welcome. I'm RN Explains and I'm so glad you're here today. Our primary goal with this video is to offer a clear, accessible, and reassuring explanation of the A1C test. We want to demystify this important number for you. We'll focus on the true significance of A1C in managing blood sugar levels, whether you're living with diabetes, prediabetes, or simply want to understand your health better. Think of me as your friendly nurse, here to guide you through this essential health topic with simple, smart, and science-backed information. So, what exactly is A1C? In its simplest form, the A1C is a common blood test that provides crucial information about your health. It's not just a snapshot, it's more like a long-term report card for your blood sugar. This test measures your average blood sugar levels over a specific period. Specifically, it looks back at the past two to three months, giving you a comprehensive overview. This longer time frame helps paint a more accurate picture of your glucose control. The mechanism behind A1C is quite fascinating. It reflects the percentage of your red blood cells that have glucose, or sugar, attached to them. When sugar enters your bloodstream, it can bind to the hemoglobin in your red blood cells, and this binding lasts for the lifespan of those cells. The higher your blood sugar levels have been over time, the more glucose will be attached to your red blood cells. This percentage is what your A1C result represents. Its significance lies in providing a long-term view of your blood sugar control, which is incredibly valuable for managing diabetes and prediabetes. It's important to understand the distinction between the A1C test and your daily glucose monitoring. Both are vital tools, but they serve different purposes in managing your health. Daily glucose monitoring, often done with a finger prick test, gives you a real-time snapshot of your blood sugar at a particular moment. This daily check helps you understand how specific foods, activities, or medications affect your blood sugar right now. It's excellent for immediate adjustments and understanding daily fluctuations. However, it doesn't tell you what your average levels have been over weeks or months. That's where the A1C comes in. While daily monitoring offers immediate feedback, the A1C reveals trends and your overall blood sugar control over the longer term. It smooths out the daily highs and lows, providing a broader perspective on how well your management plan is working. Think of it this way. Daily monitoring is like checking the speedometer in your car, telling you your speed right now. The A1C is like reviewing your average speed over the last few months, showing if you've generally been driving fast or slow. Both pieces of information are essential for safe and effective driving, or in this case, effective health management. Understanding your A1C result is a key step in taking control of your health. Let's look at the standard A1C ranges and what they mean for you. These ranges are widely accepted guidelines, but remember, your doctor will always provide the most personalized interpretation. For most adults, an A1C level below 5.7% is considered within the normal range. This indicates that your average blood sugar levels have been healthy over the past few months. Maintaining an A1C in this range is ideal for long-term health. If your A1C falls between 5.7% and 6.4%, you are in the pre-diabetes range. This means your blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not yet high enough to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Pre-diabetes is a critical warning sign, but it's also a powerful opportunity to make lifestyle changes that can prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. An A1C of 6.5% or higher indicates diabetes. This diagnosis means your blood sugar levels have been consistently elevated over the past few months. If you receive this diagnosis, it's important to work closely with your healthcare team to develop a comprehensive management plan. It is absolutely crucial to consult with your doctor for a personalized interpretation of your A1C results. They will consider your individual health history, other medical conditions, and lifestyle factors to provide the most accurate assessment and guidance. Never hesitate to ask questions and seek clarification from your healthcare provider. Taking proactive steps to manage your A1C is empowering, and many effective strategies involve actionable lifestyle changes. 
even small adjustments can make a significant difference in your blood sugar control and overall health. Let's explore some key areas where you can make a positive impact. First and foremost, a healthy diet plays a pivotal role in managing your A1C. Focus on incorporating whole foods into your meals, such as fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods provide essential nutrients and fiber, which help regulate blood sugar. Equally important is limiting processed foods, which often contain hidden sugars, unhealthy fats, and refined carbohydrates. These can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar. Try to choose fresh, unprocessed options whenever possible. Reducing your intake of sugary drinks is another crucial step. Sodas, sweetened teas, and fruit juices can quickly elevate blood sugar levels. Opt for water, unsweetened tea, or coffee instead. Finally, be mindful of refined carbohydrates like white bread, white rice, and pastries. These are quickly broken down into sugar in your body. Swapping them for whole grain alternatives can help maintain more stable blood sugar levels. Next, regular exercise is a powerful tool for lowering A1C. Physical activity helps your body use insulin more effectively and can lower blood sugar levels. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity per week. This could include brisk walking, swimming, cycling, or dancing. Even breaking up your activity into shorter 10-minute bursts throughout the day can be beneficial. Find activities you enjoy to make exercise a sustainable part of your routine. Weight management is another key factor. Losing even a small amount of weight, say 5-7% to of your body weight, can significantly improve your A1C and reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes or managing existing diabetes. This is because excess weight can contribute to insulin resistance. For some individuals, medication may be a necessary part of their diabetes management plan. If your doctor has prescribed medications, adherence is absolutely vital. Taking your medications as directed, even when you feel well, helps maintain consistent blood sugar control and prevents complications. Remember, medication works best when combined with healthy lifestyle choices. It's a partnership between you, your doctor, and your prescribed treatment. If you have any concerns about your medication, always speak with your healthcare provider. Ultimately, creating a personalized plan is the most effective approach. This means working closely with your doctor to tailor strategies that fit your unique needs and health goals. They can help you set realistic targets and monitor your progress. Additionally, consider working with a registered dietitian. A dietitian can provide expert guidance on meal planning, portion control, and making healthy food choices that are specific to your dietary preferences and medical requirements. They can help you navigate the complexities of nutrition and make sustainable changes. To truly understand why these lifestyle changes are so effective, let's briefly explore the biological processes involved in blood sugar regulation. Understanding these mechanisms can enhance your motivation and empower you to make informed choices. When you eat, your body breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, which is a simple sugar. This glucose then enters your bloodstream, raising your blood sugar levels. For your cells to use this glucose for energy, it needs to get inside them. This is where insulin, a hormone produced by your pancreas, plays a crucial role. Think of insulin as a key that unlocks the doors to your cells, allowing glucose to enter from the bloodstream. Once inside the cells, glucose can be used for immediate energy or stored for later. In people with diabetes, this process doesn't work as efficiently. Either the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin, or the body's cells become resistant to insulin's effects, meaning the key doesn't work as well. This leads to glucose building up in the bloodstream. Now, let's connect this back to the A1C. As glucose circulates in your bloodstream, it can bind to the hemoglobin in your red blood cells. This process is called glycation. The more glucose present in your blood over time, the more of it will attach to your red blood cells. Since red blood cells live for about two to three months, the A1C test measures the percentage of these sugar-coated red blood cells. This percentage gives us an average of your blood sugar levels over that period. It's a direct reflection of how much glucose has been circulating in your system. 
By making healthy lifestyle choices, you help your body manage glucose more effectively. A balanced diet reduces the amount of glucose entering your bloodstream at once. Exercise helps your cells become more sensitive to insulin, allowing glucose to enter more easily. These actions collectively reduce the amount of glucose available to bind to your red blood cells, leading to a lower A1C. We've covered a lot of ground today, from defining A1C to understanding its significance and exploring actionable steps to manage it. Remember, understanding your A1C is a powerful step towards taking control of your health. It's a long-term indicator that complements your daily monitoring, giving you a complete picture. Whether you're managing diabetes, prediabetes, or simply aiming for better health, every small step you take makes a difference. Focus on healthy eating, regular physical activity, and maintaining a healthy weight. These are the cornerstones of effective blood sugar management. If you have any concerns about your A1C levels, your blood sugar, or your overall health, please do not hesitate to consult your doctor. They are your most valuable resource for personalized advice, diagnosis, and treatment. Your healthcare team is there to support you every step of the way. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this explanation has been clear, informative, and reassuring. For more simple, smart, and science-backed health education, be sure to follow RN Explains. Your health journey is important, and we're here to help you navigate it with confidence.